Hi, I'm Dustin Leingruber, creator of Bet the Gray, an immersive horse racing board game for two to six players that takes about an hour to play, where you get to be the racer and the punter, the person who bets on the race. And you take your winnings combined at the end, and whoever has the most money wins. So we'll start at the very beginning, picking your horses and your jockeys. We have two separate decks with seven cards each. One of the decks is for your jockeys, and the other is for your horses. Everybody at the table gets to pick one card. They can either pick a card that's face up, or pick a blind card off the top of the deck. So we'll start with somebody who wants to bet on, let's say, the gray seems like a good pick for them. So they, they'll pick the gray, and that card is immediately replaced off the top. Another player might decide that they'd like to pick Purple Poly. So they pick that jockey, and the card is replaced. This will go all the way around the table for two, two to six players until it came back around to the first person, who's picked a horse, so now they have to pick a jockey to match. And they like the looks of Yellow Yakov. Now each of these horses and jockeys has a special ability that's been designed to fit all different types of gamers and play styles, so everyone at the table has a chance to win in a way that they like to win. Now as you pick up your cards, there are color-coded meeples that go with each of the cards. Here we have the gray horse for the gray. After you've played the game once or twice, you don't even have to look at the cards anymore. You can just look at the board and simply know what this is and what abilities it does. So here we have the gray and the jockey, yellow Yakov. And over here, this person has picked a jockey, so now they've got to go for a horse. Let's say they'd like a golden boy. Everybody picks up their meeples, and that round is quickly over, and we're on to the next one. One of the wonderful things about this game are the meeples that fit together. We've got a jockey with nice long legs that fits right down onto this horse, and he gets to be placed in a gate. The next horse and jockey are placed into a gate of their choosing. Let's say that this one wants to go all the way up here in the sixth gate. Now this is an immersive experience, and it looks very much like real horse racing, where the further you are out, the longer the race would naturally be, because as you go around the curves, it's one more space for each lane you move out. So, the people at the top get to move first, and it compensates for the change length. This creates great groupings that are very similar to actual horse races. It makes it a game that is interactive, and it's not just a simple roll to move where you move forward on a track that's been predetermined. You get to interact with the other horses. Maybe you try to go down for the inside lanes, or maybe you veer out to the outside so you have less competition. So after all of these horses and jockeys have been placed in their gates, it's time to bet. Everybody has two betting cubes, so the betting round goes very quickly. And they can look down here at the center of the board, and they can see all of the different horses they can bet on. And they can choose, like in real horse racing, to place a win bet, which pays $10 if that horse comes in first, or a place bet, which pays $6, if that horse comes in first or second, or a show bet, which pays $4 if the horse comes in first, second, or third. So, first person might be a little conservative in their bet, next person might really want to go all in for it, and it keeps going around in a traditional worker placement style, until all of the cubes have been placed, and then we're off to the races. The very first horse is the horse in the outside gate. And this is easy to take track of, as you can just take your horse card and put it down in order so people can see, for the rest of the game, which order the horses move in. Now you can notice that this horse is in a green outlined square. And we've got little cheat sheets on the outside of the board which show you which die is used for which one. The green die is used for the green outline spaces, the yellow die is used for the yellow outline spaces, and so on. The fastest spaces are in the straightaways, the medium spaces are there in the corners, and unfortunately for some horses, you can get stuck in the mud and only roll a d4. So this very first horse would roll, and they got an 8. They really lucked out. But not only did they get an 8, they have some special abilities. This horse right here, he's a fast starter. He gets a plus 4 out of the gate, so it would be a plus 4. But not only that, he's got a jockey on him that gives him plus 1 if he's next to a horseshoe. So you add all of that up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can move those first eight. And you notice how the horse moved. They can move forward and they can move sideways, but they can't move sideways twice in a row. 
It gives it that great immersive horse racing feel as all of the horses move like a horse naturally would. And then he takes his bonus moves. One, two, three, four, and five. That horse got an amazing start. Now the rest of the horses will spend the rest of the game chasing him, but they have their own special abilities to make up for it. So as the rest of these horses move, time after time, and this game has been playtested well over a hundred times, find that even with the randomness of the dice, horses tend to move in packs, and they can even start to block each other out, so there's jockeying for position. This continues on through the whole race until it comes to an organic end. Three horses will cross the finish line. The horse that comes in first goes in the winning position, and that controller gets $10. The horse that comes in second gets $6, and the horse that comes in third gets $4. Once that happens, it's the end of the race. All of the bets are paid out, and then you move on to the next race. Races take about 20 minutes, and so this game can be played in any increment. I recommend three races for about an hour-long game, but if you want to play it as a filler, you can play it as a filler. And that is how Bet the Game Bet the Gray works. You can see all of these wonderful things come together, but what really makes the game special are the dice rolls, that when something happens, whether it's your turn or not, everybody has a stake in it. You might have that one big roll right off the beginning of the game, and a person can be excited that they got an eight and they got their modifiers, and everybody might think, oh, he's definitely gonna win. But then, next time he rolls, he gets a one, and everybody else at the table cheers because they've got that chance to catch up. It can be those epic fails when you get a one a few times in a row, or those huge come from behind wins when any horse could win, and everybody knows that this is the die roll that makes up for it. Even if your horse gets left behind, you bet on other horses, so you've always got a stake in the game. And as soon as it's over, everybody puts their meeples and cards back, and you get to draft again and try a brand new combination. Bet the Gray is an exciting game that people want to play over and over again, so it won't be soon put out to pasture. I'm Dustin Limegruber, creator of Bet the Gray, and I'd be glad to see you at Gen Con. Contact me at DustinLimegruber at gmail.com, and I'd love to schedule a sit down with you. Thanks for watching.